Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell from InMotionREI.com and I want to make sure that you can join us on Friday, February the 4th. We're bringing Microsoft Training Week to a beautiful end and we're going to be teaching two more applications. Now make sure you get in because we're not going to be teaching this class in the month of March. So let's go ahead and get you going for first quarter. We're going to have PowerPoint in the morning. Excel will be taught in the afternoon. And I want to tell you, when you take this class, you're going to get a CD that has awesome templates that you as a real estate agent can use. Buy versus rent, closing cost analysis worksheets, future home value, how much can I afford worksheets. They're already done for you. Right now, I'm not going to go on and on about those because I want to give you the tip of the week. Have you ever opened up a an Excel spreadsheet and you've said, you know, I really don't like the font and I really don't want three worksheets, I only want one. Do you know how to change that? Well, this that's your tip of the week, how to change the default settings on an Excel spreadsheet. Let me show you how. Okay, I have an open worksheet in Excel, and as you can see, my default settings are set at Calibri 11 font, which I really want to change to Arial 12. I have three sheets open, but I really only need one. So how do I go about changing it so that every time I open Excel, I see the settings that I want? Let me show you how. You're going to click on the Microsoft Office button, click on Excel Options, and when you do, the popular tab is automatically showing. Come down to when creating a new workbooks and I want you to actually change these to what you want them to be. So in my case, I really want the Arial 12. So I'll go ahead and find those fonts. And instead of having three worksheets, I only need one. You can also change the default view for the new sheets. It's set at normal, but you may want to use the page layout view or the page break preview. And in the page break preview, you actually get to see what it looks like when you print the spreadsheet. You can see the edge of the page with this view. So depending on what you're trying to accomplish, make these changes accordingly. Also note that the number of sheets can go up to 255. So you may need more, you may need less, but you make that decision and then say OK. Now when you hit OK, Excel is going to make sure that you know in order for these changes to go into effect, you're actually going to have to close out the Excel worksheet and restart over. So I'll go ahead and say OK and I'll close out of Excel and then I'll open Excel up once again and you'll see my changes have taken effect. I'll have the Arial 12 that I want, there we go, and I only have one sheet which is what I selected. I hope this tip helps, and I hope to see you in Excel class this week. Thanks for watching.